All right, we're trying to play Arrowhead Golf Club today. It's one of the newer courses out on GS Pro. We're playing with the Garmin R10. If you haven't seen the channel, we're using an iPhone with the Garmin R10, transferring it to GS Pro on the Windows PC. This course is about 6,800 yards. If you play it at a normal elevation, I think it said it's 6,000 feet in the air. Uh, we are just trying to get our distances down, so we are at normal elevation for me and we are off on one a 410 yard par four almost brought those trees into play but it looks like we have a shot all and that one's going to roll up just short for an opening par good way to start onto the par five Another good drive there. Left the face open on that three wood a little bit. And we're going to end up in the bunker on the right hand side. A pretty bad shot for a layup. And we fly over the green with our third out of the bunker, leaving us a chip to try and save par. And that one runs just through the one putt circle and we are quickly at plus one. 160 yard par three. A little bit pulled. but Jess stops in the two putt zone and we get a par there as well. Aiming right over that rock and I pull it left. We're gonna run out of fairway that way. And we get into some deep stuff, having to lay up in order to keep going. Layup successful with this split fairway. We couldn't really advance it very far. Now we got to put it close from 116, and you can tell that face was closed just a little bit. Distance was good, but we are over to the left. And a good chip there to save a bogey in that case. And we go to the fifth. Another one pulled left. If you've noticed the past few rounds, I've been fighting this left uh, turn of the face. And I used to applaud myself from being able to do like zero degree on the face control. And I'm constantly three, four, five left. Um, and so I'm working on that. If you look a few videos after this coming up, um, I did a grip change that I think is really going to help. Um, so we'll see. I'm trying to weaken my left hand grip and leave my right hand grip normal so that it feels okay and the left hand um, doesn't have the opportunity to flip open um, or cupped at impact. Anyway, struggling here, we find the bunker on the left. 15 yards to go, splash it out into the rough and then almost make the par chip but another bogey to plus three the front nine not going super well a short par three I try and hit a three wood out there and pull that left also so fighting the lefts um, here push the bunker shot out to the right and we are quickly at plus four going to the eighth this one we end up at the top of the tree and I love when this happens because when do you get to take a full swing off of a branch on a tree try and hit it down towards the green 
we almost get a birdie out of it, which would have been awesome. But moving on to the ninth. Pard the last one. That's a good little fade in there. Uh, but it's going to go a little long and right. But an easy par. Good driver swing there on the 10th. In the back nine, I play a lot better. So if you were saddened by the plus four on the front, uh, we have some better golf on the back here. We go over and long to visit the cart girl on 10. And we're going to have to chip this one in the circle and almost in uh, to get the part. Going to the 11th, 132. Flighted that down good, but a little too much and a little too left again. And we're chipping again. This one stays in the circle, and we get another par on 11. Moving to the 12th hole, we have this awesome rock feature that we are hitting around here at Arrowhead. And that drive looks perfect. Leaving us 165 up the hill. And another one that's left. Um, I don't mind three or four degrees swing inside or outside either way as long as I can get the face control better. This one, we're trying to roll it down into the hole and not quite, but we do save par and we go to a cool par three here on 13. 136 down the hill, playing about 120. And we check that one cold in the circle for our first birdie of the day to get us back to plus three. Almost made a mistake here trying to go the long way and just barely reaching the rough on a short par four. 120 remaining. That swing looked good on camera. And look at that face control, zero. Just left it short, but chipping out and saving par at 14 as well. Going to 15. Hitting it left off the tee and 140 up the hill, playing about 150. I don't know if that's a hopped up eight iron. Looked like it by the swing, and it just didn't quite get there up the hill. Distance was good. Got scared of that chip, but it sneaks out of the rough and another par. Going to 16 plus 3, and all of a sudden the round's looking a little better. Another par 5. Can't beat that drive. Up the hill, 147 ball, 20 degree launch. Just a layup here and flailed it right, of course. Not very good at doing anything today. And we are forced to lay up. I don't have an angle at the green. So hit it back in play and take our medicine here. Fourth shot, 67 yards. Gotta land it in there for a par and we go long over the green now chipping for a bogey and we do get it and we go back to plus four even on the back nine however now there's me trying to hold the face open and it kind of worked kind of didn't we end up with a par going to 18 another par five 
20 yards up the hill, playing about one, playing about 500. Start off with a pretty good swing, but the fairway runs out. And we're left with 242. We're just trying to get something back into the fairway on the other side. And that's a good layup, finally. Leaving us a short chip to try and birdie the 18th. And I completely chunk it. You can see how disappointed I am. Now I got it to hit almost the same chip again and this time we hit a beauty in there to thankfully par and remain at plus four shooting a 35 on the back as is always guys check out all the new courses coming like subscribe you know the drill thanks for watching